How do I look? Perfect. All right, good. You look fantastic, sir. How are y'all doing tonight? Good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I broke the base earlier. All right, we're going to start with, uh, I guess we'll start with how does it feel to be inducted tonight? Um, it's pretty remarkable. This is um, one of the coolest moments of my life. I think um, having kids and um, having a family and getting married and things uh, rank all the way up at the top. But this is, uh, this is definitely up there. It's uh, pretty remarkable. Um, it's just amazing to be back here, actually. You know, I haven't been back in a few years, so to come back and see everything and see how everything's grown is pretty cool. A lot has changed since your last year, I suppose. Is this surprising to you? Or you, you know, what does it mean to see UCF like now entering in the Big 12 and then you know, so much has changed since last year? Yeah, it's really cool. I like to think that I was in the uh, first class with Coach O'Leary that kind of started that um, that change on the, the upward tick. And uh, to think back uh, where we were, started 0-11 my freshman year, and to see where the program is now um, is pretty remarkable. I'm very proud to, to call this my university. And, um, very proud to be back, and uh, obviously very proud to be so Take us back to when you found out that you were going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Was um, kind of a surreal moment. Um, you know, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, you know, kind of got a call out of nowhere. So, um, you know, you, when these moments happen, it's it's always cool to just sit down and reflect and you know, think about the uh, your path. You know, you, you tend to not do that all the time. Um, and to sit down and just think about my path and uh, all the friends and coaches and the family and, uh, you know, everybody that's been a part of my journey. It's, uh, it's cool to sit back and think about that and reflect on it. So that's, that's really what I did when I got the call. And there's a lot of emotions that come with it. And, um, like I said, coming back here and seeing this place, is, it's incredible. So just a lot of emotions and a lot of great memories. When you do look back, you know, you go back to your freshman self, 0-11, your first season. Did you ever imagine the football success you had at UCF and in the pros? Um, that's a good question. Um, I don't. I mean, you obviously always want you so. always want to see yourself doing well. Yeah. You know, but it's uh, I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, if I could really go back and talk to myself in that age, I, 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 if I was if I could go tell myself my career path and everything, you know, I wouldn't believe it. So I just been I've been incredibly blessed with. Um, good health and good people around me, great coaches, great mentors. Um, you know, it's something that you really need in life is great mentors. And there's, I've been fortunate enough to have people that have um, taken me under their wing, you know, from a little kid up in sports and not in sports. So um, I've just been blessed in that way. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very thankful. You joined a hall, a hall of Fame, and you're being inducted with Blake Bortles tonight. You're also going to be joining Kevin Smith, who you blocked for in the Hall of Fame. Describe what it's like to be inducted alongside guys like that and so many more. Yeah, it's cool, man. Kevin, that, that was my guy. Um, very proud of the career he had, obviously. Um, he's a, a huge part of the reason that I'm here right now, being able to block for him. I mean, he was, he's the best running back to ever play in this program, so um, I was very fortunate to play with him. Um, and it's cool to come back. I, I think I've talked to Blake once or twice, maybe on the field or something, uh, but I've never gotten a chance to sit down and talk to him. So it's cool to, uh, I've followed his career and uh, I've continued to follow his career. And I, um, it's an honor to, to be inducted with him. I came back in 2013, I think, for a game which he was playing and uh, got, got a chance to sit down and watch him play. He's, he was incredible. So um, it's definitely an honor. What would you say your favorite UCF memory is? Um, so, go from, you know, winning some high school football games. You know, we weren't a great program or anything, a small program, but, and then get to college and go 0 11, and then start the second year 0 and 2, that first win at Marshall and uh, Marshall at home in 2005 is probably my greatest, greatest memory um, to get that monkey off our back and then. You know, it's kind of, like I said, I think we, we uh, kind of started on the upward tick there as a program. Ended up going 8-5 uh, and five a year and winning the conference for the first time. So, But I think that game was, was probably my most favorite memory. You're the only UCF player to win a league. Oh, you, oh you, did you go? I didn't hear you. No, no, go ahead. Okay. 
um, you're the only UCF player to win a league title, start a bowl game, and w w in, in the Super Bowl, and play in the Pro Bowl, Bowl as well. Can you just describe that experience in the pros, the protecting protecting Aaron Rodgers, and just be able to have that distinction among yeah, UCF Yeah, I saw that. I saw that stat. That's pretty cool. Um, I feel like you can make up stats for for <laughs> anything, but um, it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, like I said, man, I've been very blessed and uh, very fortunate to have incredible people around me. And I was I was very fortunate to come to this program. Um, and start with Coach O'Leary uh, on the, the upswing of the program, and uh, and I was fortunate enough to go to Green Bay and to be in a place that I had a quarterback for eight years, and an offensive line coach for eight years, and a head coach for eight years. That's not not something that um, happens very often. So I've just been very fortunate um, with with the people around me, and that's. Um, Probably the biggest takeaway from sitting back and thinking about my my career is all the people around me that have helped. And, you know, as you get older, you start really thinking about those things. And, um, you know, when you're 18 and 19, 20 years old, you don't you think you can conquer the world on your own, but you can't. And, um, it's cool to sit back and reflect and think about all the people that have helped me learn. Thinking back to when you thinking back to when you were 18 and 20 years old. What made you use? What made you choose UCF in the first place? And what advice would you have for other 18, 18 20 year olds? That well, would recruiting be is a slightly different than it was uh, back then. I don't know how these coaches do it with uh, competing with it, all the Instagram and all the stuff going on now. But um, my head coach in high school played for Coach O'Leary at Georgia Tech, um, and I he he pushed me to Coach O'Leary, and he said, "You're not going to love Coach O'Leary." And he was right. I did not love Coach O'Leary. <laughs> he was very, very difficult to play for. Um, and it wasn't really until I finished my career that I really genuinely appreciated everything that Coach O'Leary uh, did for me and pushed me to. Um, so it was, it was really because, um, because of my head coach. And they, um, they were going to let me play defensive line. So I really wanted to play defensive line. But that only lasted one day in training camp. So um, thank God they did that. It worked out playing offensive line. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.